Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and welcome back to this video series focusing on Uniview's newest product line, UniArch. If you have never heard of UniArch before, then pause this video and check out the links in the description, because in our last video, we did a complete introduction to this product series. We talked about what UniArch is, who UniArch is primarily designed for, and why these products even exist. And in today's video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up a complete UniArch surveillance system. We are going to set up a simple two camera system using the four channel plug and play PoE NVR. And we're also going to set up the same system using the 16 channel NVR that doesn't have a PoE switch in the back. And I think you're gonna be surprised at just how easy this really is. Now here's a quick side note because I did things a little bit differently with this video. So instead of leaving all the unboxing clips in this video, just to make it a little bit shorter, I have included a playlist down in the description below. So if you are interested in checking out the cameras, the recorders, and the monitors separately, be sure to check out that playlist. It will walk you through everything you need to know. But for now, let's jump right into this system setup. So let's get this system set up. I've got our two cameras here. I have our PoE NVR, and I also have our monitor. We're gonna do this with both NVRs just so we can see how easy this process is. Uh, something else you're going to need is some ethernet cables, which you can pick up at our website, nellysecurity.com. Leave links to all of this in the description below. But for this, really all we're going to do is plug our NVR into power here. And once it does that, it's automatically gonna turn on. There's no switch or anything. Then we'll just take our ethernet cables, connect it to each camera, and then connect each camera to the PoE switch in the back. I'm gonna take the HDMI cable for the, uh, the monitor here. Gonna plug that in. And uh, the only step that's left is to plug in the monitor And there we go, everything is instantly plug and play. You can see that already our cameras are set up on our NVR and everything is good to go. And that took uh, seconds. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer when you are installing the cameras and you need to run cables and that kind of thing. But just for real quick and simple setup, you really can't beat Uniview. And then you just take your mouse, plug it into the back of your NVR and you are good to go. You can right click to access the menu, type in the default password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. It might ask you to, uh, to change the password. Now, another cool thing about the UniArch cameras, which we've talked about before, is the uh, pretty powerful UniArch mobile app. So to get set up with that, we are going to come over here to uh, System, Network, and we're going to click mobile service here. Now this is gonna give us a, a QR code which we can scan on our phone. Now just take out your phone, open up the UniArch application. We are going to click add. We're going to click scan. And then you can see our camera pops up. All we have to do is scan that QR code and it's gonna add this NVR. We can name it something different. NVR, click save. And now we can see our NVR is popping up on the main screen here. Might take it a little bit to pull in those feeds. Actually, I just realized that this NVR, I didn't connect it to the network. So before you add it to your mobile device, you will have to connect it to your local network with an ethernet cable. So we'll take care of that here in a second. Before we get to that, I do wanna show you uh, that it's really not much more difficult than that to set up your UniArch NVR that doesn't have a PoE switch in the back. Uh, it might sound like there's more configuration that needs to be done. There's really not. Uh, it is essentially plug and play as well. Obviously, the plug and play just works a little bit differently because there's no PoE switch to plug the cameras directly into. So let me switch these cameras over and we'll get that 16 channel pulled up and ready to go. And now this NVR is booting up. And as soon as it does, right now it is not connected to our network. It's not connected to any security camera. So we see we do have this message. I don't know if you can see that, bring it a little closer. 
it says searching and adding cameras please wait patiently and this screen is essentially just going to hang out there indefinitely until we tell it to cancel so it's just going to automatically pull in whatever camera feeds it finds on the network so the first thing that we need to do is connect this to the network you can see on the back again we saw this earlier we do have our LAN connection so I'm going to plug that in ordinarily you would plug this directly into your directly into your local network uh, I don't want to do this just because we have a ton of Uniview cameras on our network uh, and if I if I plug this into the network, it's gonna to try to automatically pull all those feeds in. I just want it to pull in these two UniArch feeds. So instead of connecting it to our local network, I'm just gonna connect the NVR to this switch and we will just create our own little segregated network here. So for this, I am using a Uniview PoE switch. If you get one of these NVRs without the PoE switch in the back, you're going to want to invest in an external PoE switch either from Uniview like this one or from IP Cam Power. The reason being, if you plug your cameras in with PoE, that's the only cable that you need to run is this ethernet cable. If you connect your cameras to just a regular non-powered router, you will need to run a separate 12 volt DC power supply to the camera. So PoE is always easier. It's what we always recommend. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this NVR into the uplink port of our PoE switch. If I was connecting this to our local network here at Nelly's, I would connect the PoE switch to a router via the second uplink port. But again, I'm not gonna do that. We're just creating a, a segregated network here. And now I'm just gonna take these ethernet cables that are already plugged into my cameras. I'm gonna plug those into the PoE switch. And as I do that, the PoE is going to power up the cameras. They're going to turn on. Uh, you can see the infrared lights turning on as the camera starts to boot up and when that happens the NVR is going to notice that there are UniArch cameras that are on the same network as the NVR and it's going to automatically pull those feeds into the NVR there's nothing else we need to do there's no configuration no messing with IP addresses or anything like that we definitely can if we want to go in there and fine-tune this a little bit if we need to change the IP addresses to something specific so right there already we have our first camera feed coming through here in a second we should get our second camera feed and there is our second feed and we're good to go you can see this box is still here it's still it's going to constantly be looking for cameras as long as we let it so i'm going to tell it to stop right now and we're going to click finish two cameras have been added if we needed to manually do this we could come in here to menu Type in our default password, which again is one, two, three, four, five, six. Log in, it's gonna want us to change our password. We're not gonna do that right now. And then we can either do a quick search, which is gonna scan the network again. Uh, we can add manually, which will let us just type in the exact IP address that we want. And at this point, it's basically just like any other NVR and any other IP camera setup. And that really is all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you were able to realize just how simple these UniArch cameras really are. If you are interested in learning more about these cameras, again, all the links are in the description to all these products. You can purchase them individually. You can purchase them in a system. In the next video, we are going to jump into a full interface overview. We're gonna check out the NVR interface, the web interface, and the mobile application. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that, so be sure to subscribe. Click that bell notification so you know as soon as that video hits. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Happy installing, and we will see you in the next video.